Hello and welcome back to another video. Uh, on this video, we're going to be showing how Bison OS and the tool Bison help with you speed up your process when you develop for deep learning 10 times. We're going to be comparing a computer uh, with different dependencies installed like Python, uh, Jupyter Notebooks on it, different Anaconda packages like a normal environment that you have for a computer and then try to run uh, a deep learning model, a benchmark ResNet 50 on it. Then we're going to have our workstation with the Bison OS installed and you see how fast we can launch TensorFlow and train the model. We're going to be showing why Bison help can make your life easier. Uh, we have different tools built in like CPU test, GPU test uh, for stress your hardware in case that you have any problem with your hardware you don't need to look online uh, different solutions everything is built in also we're going to look at the section called bison apps where we install different applications built in into the software that allows you to monitor resources on your computer like gpus like for example that we know for uh, on linux it's difficult to get a gpu status and uh, have a gui that you can monitor or your partners on your local network can actually uh, get information from the gpus and then lastly, we're going to have uh, a, a different set of commands that would allow you to launch uh, NVIDIA Docker containers, run Jupyter Notebooks so everyone can connect to the computer and develop on it, but just with one command line. So you don't need to learn the full list of Docker documentation. Okay, now let's uh, jump to the computer. Okay, so the first thing, uh, so we already have two computer setups already. We have the first one, we're going to call it the Bison Help computer because it comes with all the software that we installed pre-built and the Bison Help tool install it. So the second one we're going to have here is the normal uh, Ubuntu installation on a computer, but this one is a little bit better because we have all the NVIDIA and CUDA drivers installed it. So it's ready for development and we also have installed uh, different dependencies like Python, PIP, uh, normal dependencies we use for uh, development. Uh, we're going to check the, the CUDA and the NVIDIA drivers are installed and are the same on both computers. So for that we open terminal and type NVIDIA semi. As you can see here we have the 440.44 version and the CUDA driver that we have is a 10.0 version. I'm going to check that right now. And then as you can see here is 10.0. Now we're going to check the Python version and you can see it's 3.6, uh, the Python 3.6 version is the one installed. Now we're going to jump now to the Bison OS. And here we're going to type the same, we're going to make sure that the drivers are installed. So the driver is the same, it's a 440.44 and then in, if we type M MVCC version, we get the CUDA drivers. So as you can see here, we got the same. So same thing on both computers. And now we're going to start doing the comparison. So now we're going to be talking about the Jupyter Notebooks. This is a very important tool that all the data science use in order to access the, their computers using a web browser UI. You can access this Jupyter from a local machine, from a different computer in your local network, and also from outside your network. Now we're going to be seeing here how we can launch this Jupyter on the NoBison computer. And in most computers, they will, this will be installed because they come pre-built with Anaconda. Once you install Anaconda packages, uh, Jupyter Notebook will be installed. The only thing you need to do is just open Terminal and type Jupyter Notebook and it will open the Jupyter, uh, it will open the notebook for you. Now here is a few limitations that you can access to your machine locally, but if you want to access outside your network, you need to look online for different uh, forums, uh, how to run the commons, and this can damage your dependencies again, uh, and it can take some time. For normal user, for power user, it can take 5 to 10 minutes because you have to configure your routers and everything, and then for uh, normal user, it can take uh, even more time. Now let's see how we can speed up this process on uh, Bison OS and how simple it is. And in Bison OS, Jupyter Notebook is built in. If you want to run a Jupyter local in your machine, you just type Jupyter local. But if you want to run a Jupyter remote, uh, let's say that you want to access your, Jupyter, your computer from outside your network, you need to type just Jupyter remote and it will run the code to install uh, the, the code on the background to, to, to create the Jupyter. But this will be configured that you can access outside your network or any other computer in your local network. The other part will be setting up your router for access outside. In addition to this, you can also type 
Jupyter help and it will give you more information like for example when you run the Jupyter local the Jupyter remote you have to run a command Jupyter remote then um, you have to go to the client on the computer that you want to use for example a Mac OS uh, laptop a MacBook for example a MacBook and then open terminal on the laptop and type this command here this would actually allows you to connect from your MacBook to the computer so all the steps is right here and it's built into the Bison help So let's see what Bison Help has to offer. In order to open Bison Help, we're going to open Terminal and then we're going to type Bison Help. Here you're going to have a list of commands that you can um, that you can utilize in order to speed up your process. So for example, starting from the top one, we're going to see different tools that help you to troubleshoot and monitor your computer. We have CPU tests and the explanation of each of these commands is going to be on the right side. Uh, let's say, for example, you have a problem with the computer and you need to contact support. They need to run some stress tests on the CPU, GPU, in order to see if it's a hardware-related problem or a software. In order to do that, before, if you go to the other uh, no Bison computer, and here what we're going to do is uh, first we're going to type uh, Bison help. And as you can see here, of course, we're not going to have that tool. So if we want to open um, to monitor a GPU or a CPU or something like that, we have to go to the web browser and, and search for it. Like, for example, how to test uh, my CPU in order to perform uh, a stress test. Now, once you open that, you have a bunch of lists of comments uh, or different links that you can click on it and then start typing comments. And maybe one of them can work and another one is not going to work. And you can crash your dependency by installing uh, this software. So switching to buy some hell I explained before, we got to the tools here. And if we're going to launch the CPU test, the only thing we need to do is just type CPU test and it will open a window with it. So as you can see here, we can stress out the CPU. It will utilize all the cores that we have right now. It will give you a different option, temperature, speed, uh, clock speed that you're using right now. And then the technician can see remotely from your computer or you or yourself if something's happened, something wrong with the CPU, okay? So we can see here in Bison OS that in, in order to launch the GPU test, we just need to type GPU test. And it would automatically open uh, the Luxmart benchmark. So it takes less than two seconds to open a benchmark. So now we are on no Bison computer and we're going to be checking here uh, how the how to access the NVLink information on NVIDIA uh, information from the video card. In order to do this, in order to do this, we need to type NVIDIA SMI, and then uh, we realize that we have two GPUs. Now we need to find information about the GPU, so we type NVIDIA SMI dash H, and it will show up a list of comments uh, that we can run with NVIDIA SMI. Now for advanced users, uh, advanced user, they can find what they're looking for. So for example, right now we're looking at how the NV links are connected to this computer. We go through all these parameters until we find them. So as we can see here, we have the envelink command, and then it explained it to us how to run it in order to see if the envelinks are connected and working properly. And then we type NVIDIA SMI envelink dash S, and it will provide us with the information on the envelink. As you can see here, they'll connect it properly and 25 gigabyte, which is perfect. Now we're gonna see how on the Bison computer, how we can speed up the pr this process with Bison help tool. So as you can see here, we're gonna type now NVLink with the N in capital letters. And once you type that, it automatically tells you the NVLink. Now this is important to have, uh, we have a, so now we have a pre-built commands here that with just one common line, uh, it, it will run a few comments on the background to give you NVLink for example, and also NVIDIA full, which should give you provide a full information list about the nvidia gpus you have because maybe you're looking for the bios version or something on the gpu this command will launch and have all that information for you
So we saw an introduction to Bison Help Tool and how it can speed up your workflow and troubleshoot your CPU, GPU, benchmark, build team. We also saw the difference when running in a normal Ubuntu installation, how you could see how to speed up your process once you run on the pre-built commands uh, built in on the Bison Help Tool. In part 2, now we are going to be talking about how to monitor your GPUs in an easy way with Bison Monitoring Tool pre-built that you can monitor the GPUs from a web browser, laptop or cell phone so you can be aware every time when the GPUs are being used. You can now connect multiple GPUs workstation together and monitor them all from the same web browser UI. Thank you for watching and keep tuned for the second part of this series.